The Mann Whitney U test is a non parametric test that is used as a test of difference with an independent measures design which generates ordinal data. So let's look at an example. Imagine that we were doing a questionnaire and we had as our hypotheses that males will score higher on an aggression questionnaire than females. This would be a directional or one-tailed hypothesis as we are stating which gender we expect to score higher. The formula for the Mann Whitney U test is displayed on screen. In this formula, N1 is the number of participants in condition 1 and N2 the number in condition 2. T is the sum of the ranks for each condition which we're going to calculate and U stands for the Mann Whitney statistic. As we are analysing ordinal data, it is necessary to first rank your data. Rank the conditions together for this test, then give the highest a value of 1, and so on. The next stage is to sum up the ranks for each condition to find our t values. Now we have our t values, we can substitute values into the formula. The number of participants in condition 1 was 10 and the number of participants in condition 2 was also 10. And our t-value for our second condition was 129.5. Breaking our formula down, 10 times 10 is 100, 10 plus 1 is 11, times 10 is 110, that's still going to be divided by 2, minus 129.5. This gives us 155 minus 129.5, so our first U value is 25.5. We now need to repeat this process with our other sum of ranks. So carrying out exactly the same calculation, 100 plus 110 divided by 2 minus 80.5, we end up with 155 minus 80.5, which gives us a U value of 74.5. So in the Mann Whitney U test, we always end up with two U values. The one that you use is simply the smaller of the two. So in this case, we will use U1, which is 25.5. The critical value for a one-tailed test at 5% with n equaling 10 is 27. Therefore, the result is significant and it is necessary to reject the null hypothesis. Evidence has been discovered to suggest that males did score higher on an aggression questionnaire than females.